My name is Thrills from VIP and in this video we're going to take a look at our VIP Extreme Ensemble Series Electric Guitar Ensemble. This library is comprised just like the other ones in our VIP Extreme Ensemble Series of 10 different instruments. You actually have 10 different electric guitars that you can choose between over here. And in this video I'm both going to demonstrate our main microphone positions and our spot mics. As with all the other instruments in our Extreme Ensemble series, we actually have 15 microphone positions for each library. As you may know, we've also created a 10 drum kit ensemble, a 10 drum machine ensemble, a 10 analog synth ensemble, a 10 piece bass ensemble, and then in this video, our 10 piece electric guitar ensemble. And um, I'm gonna start out um, just by playing some of the whole microphones. Um, it's actually pretty neat. If you click here um, on the enter button, you're gonna get into the in beautiful interface here. And uh, you can see the microphones here uh, are mixed deca far, wide, and close. And that's for our whole microphones. And then we have a completely separate module here where each microphone is symbolized by the spot position. These are spot mics on the players, both mixing DI and hall signal together as well. It's beautiful. But in the first part of the video here, I'm just gonna start playing with the ensemble as a whole. We have a variety of different presets and you can really, really mangle and mix this library in so many different ways. If you click here on our main button, you're gonna see all the articulations loaded. And a cool feature about the presets is that if you find something you like, like, so for example, I'm playing right now with our normal amped short notes, but if I wanna try the same thing on another articulation, you can just do that, direct to load it, and you can see the perch function here. And if you wanna start stacking things, and I'll definitely demonstrate that in this video as well, you click up here on this little symbol here, the chains, and then you can actually start combining different articulations together as well. So imagine how many different things you can do by stacking, combining. We also have an arpeggiator here that'll show you. We have all the different microphones. We have our chaos page here that you can do a crazy amount of stuff with. We actually added our new textual convolutions to this library as well. So you have a wealth of new effects-based convolutions. And of course, you also have traditional convolutions down here as well. But let's just get into it. Uh, let me start by playing the whole microphone's short notes. And after that, we'll be playing with the whole microphone's sustain notes. We have a variety of beautiful sustains as well. And in the later part of the video, I'm gonna demonstrate the spot mics here, which also comes in shorts and sustains. And these are awesome because it's not like you can only play one guitar, you can actually combine them and make your own examples as well. But as I said, let's get started here with our main microphones. So you're gonna be hearing all 10 electric guitars playing at the same time. <laughs> And as I mentioned earlier, let's say you want to try that, for example, on the fast muted here instead. You can just do that. Everything is loaded here. These are perch functions, so you can load and unload. Um, but every module comes preloaded with everything in it. Uh, let me show you something entirely different. Um, in this articulation here, you can hear the short notes, but play it with the far microphone. So we're going to be way, way back in the hall. And um, in this one, I'm just playing fast notes, but it gets really like washed out. And I've also activated the arpeggiator here, so you can hear this really beautiful arpeggiation. And then you can hear the filters move in and out as well. A lot of the articulations here have filter on the mod wheel. Isn't that cool? And let me just try to play the same thing here. Let's go to the microphone and this um, and this time I'm gonna choose the closed microphone instead of the far one. So it's gonna be a lot more present. Let me just play the same thing again. So as you could hear, I was sort of dialing in uh, the two different microphones here. And if you actually want to do that, and it's something I like to do a lot, actually dialing in and out of microphone perspectives, it really gives you a mixing like a next level approach. You can right click here and assign it to any controller you want. And then you can actually control this in real time with your modulators in terms of actually controlling microphone positions. So it's really neat if you're really into mixing to lay it out and actually have four or five microphones laid on each your controller, and you can really dial in the mix that way. Let me also um, show you um, another thing here. Um, let's stay in the realm of arpeggiations. And if you see down here on the arpeggiator, um, you can actually control both the rate of the arpeggiation, um, the octave, the amount of repetition, swing. You can also sculpt the dynamics of it. Everything obviously with the short notes here is recorded both in velocity layers and round robin, so you get that natural variation. Um, but um, yeah, let me, just, um, let me just demonstrate here another arpeggiation using our normal articulation, meaning that it's clean, it's not played with amplification. We call those amps down here. So this is a more clean signal. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is it cool? I don't think anyone would ever thought like 10 guitars could actually have that kind of sound. You would, I think the brain naturally wants just to hear like crazy distorted stuff. Um, let me show you another one here. Um, this is using a muted amplified articulation. So um, the strings were a little more muted. They're not as sustained as they are up here on the normal one. And as if you want to translate th this to orchestral, you can pretty much say that normal is staccato, fast is spiccato, and muted here would be sodinos, if you will. Uh, but let's try the muted here uh, with amplifiers on. <laughs> And you can hear me play a little around with the filter as well. But isn't that nice? It has a really full sound. It really, and again, if you really want to make it bigger, you can start combining. I'm using the mix microphone here, but if you want to make the sound even bigger, you start adding a little more of the deck and the far together and you can make it uh, a lot bigger. We also have um, another aspect that's cool about the library. We actually recorded both normal notes here, obviously fast with muted, like palm muted stuff with amplifiers here, but we also did power chords. Let me show you these power chords muted here with the arpeggiator on. And one of the nice aspects about this library, and if you can imagine the amount of programming, particularly for the spot max here, is that it's not only that we have velocities, you also have round robins. So when the arpeggiator is playing here, it actually creates natural variations in the sound. And obviously you can hear the different velocities from the soft one here. So it's sort of mid-range and, and hotter and like super hard. So that's where the library gets a little more rock and roll once you start using the power chords, particularly with the amplifiers on here. And obviously you can also add third party effects. When we did the amplification here, we didn't go totally crazy in the distortion. We wanted to give a little room for you to add your own effects as well. And obviously you've got the clean signal if you want to have complete control over that. Uh, let me show you um, another muted articulation here. And in this particular articulation here, we've added some delays as well. So it has that beautiful sort of hyper delayed galactic guitar sound. <laughs> We've actually gotten some questions in regards to the videos like, you know, are you using third party effects? And I'm absolutely not. Everything you're hearing in this demo is just straight out of the library. And of course, including internal effects here. And uh, you can always go further into the library if you want to go in and really start manipulating things. You can add more effects on the backside here, but you should have kind of a lot to do uh, just from the front page here. Obviously, you've got ADSR control here, and I'll show you more about those uh, once we get to the stage. You can do these really beautiful pad like things as well. And while we're here, let me also just um, briefly explain what's going on here in the UI. The response button here is actually controlling the velocity sensitivity of your controller and the way it responds to the library. So uh, I like to have it down here a little more. It actually makes the instruments a little more responsive. You have to play a little harder to get into the hot velocity layer. So um, I find it easier for expression. You got filter here and you can control both low and high pass. You got offset. So for example, in the case of this articulation here, in order to make the ensemble a little more tight, I dial in the offset a little bit. So you go further into the start point of the sample here. Uh, we also got glissando release and noise for certain articulations. Let me just, uh, <laughs> let me show another one here. Um, this is, uh, yeah, it's a sort of, uh, I have the tiger kind of thing. And again, it's so awesome when you got all the velocities and you got all the round robin as well, because they're just natural. These are not, I mean, this is not phrase you heard. These are actually just multi samples being triggered in the chain here. Uh, let me play it once again here. And let's just, let me just show you um, the sort of dynamic control you have within the arpeggiator in terms of sculpting dynamics here using the arpeggiator or step sequencer, if you will. Another aspect I really like about the library is that, yeah, it's big and it can do a lot of like crazy things. But if you take the clean muted sound here, I would actually say it sort of has a emotional uh, sound to it. Even though you're hearing 10 different guitars playing at the same time in the same hall we used for our 8W and Imperium collections, um, there's a nice emotion to some of the more subtle articulations here. <laughs> Of course, you can appreciate that if you want as well. Let's move on here to the second part 
of the whole microphones and this is our sustain. So obviously we just took a look at the short notes here. You had your normal, your fast, your muted, you had it with amplifiers, all that stuff, the power chords. And now we're gonna go to the sustain part. So obviously we recorded a variety of different sustains for the library here. We recorded normal sustains, we did the sustains with vibrato, we did power chords, palm muted kind of sustains, tremolos, slow tremolos, harmonics, and then again down here using the distorted amp signal here as well. And um, as you can see here, the chain is clicked up here, meaning that we're combining different articulations here. And in this example, I'm playing a little round with the effects here. You can see I've added a little bit of EQ, a little bit on the highs here. There's a good amount of delay. You got some textual convolution delays. These are awesome. It's a new way where you can create an additional delay texture that's actually tempo synced as well, combined with the stereo delay up here, but it actually creates another texture inside of the delay of the convolution. So it's a way of creating more complicated type of soundscapes. Absolutely beautiful. And then obviously you got the reverb down here. And in this case, I'm using convolution called The Wonder, which is a massive, big, 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 even bigger than our whole microphones here sound. So you can hear this very sort of washed away kind of sound. And obviously that was using our far microphone here. Uh, if we use the close microphone, it would sound a lot tighter than that. Uh, but the far is great for those sort of padded, washed out kind of sounds. Let me show you another sort of emotional um, aspect of the library as well. We recorded the tremolos both fast and slow and also in velocity layers. So you can actually just sculpt it using your mod wheel so you can go kind of... Isn't that a gorgeous sound? Let me just play a little more with it here. I just think it has the most beautiful sort of pad-like quality. Uh, let me show you, uh, speaking of that sort of emo more emotional aspect of library, let me show you another one here. This is sort of a big emotional sustain. And again, you're listening to all the whole microphones. So this is 10 different guitars playing at the same time. And we'll get to the spots here because you can actually create really unique sustains. Obviously they're using different guitars, different amplifiers, different this and that, different players, different picks, different spot mics, all that stuff. So you can hear sort of subtle variation to each of the guitars here. It's just beautiful in their placement and the whole everything. Uh, let me show another one here. This is also sort of in the realm of heavenly 10 guitars. <laughs> And obviously everything I'm playing here is from presets that are included in the library. So you have exactly what I have here. Uh, let me show another great trick here. In this case, you can see that the ADSR is a little bit different than it was in the previous ones here. So in this case, the attack is dialed all the way here up, meaning that it has a much longer sort of slow bin. We're using the close microphone here, but it still has a really beautiful sort of emotional paddy kind of sound. All right, so that's uh, some of the softer sides of the library. The library can also kick ass if you needed to do that. Uh, let me show an example here of our palm mute, vibrato, amplified, and power amplified. These are power chords, and obviously combined using the little chain up here. And uh, this one is loud. Uh, let me just start by playing the palm muted here, and then I'll add these guys down here um, as we get into it. This just shows you what happens once you start combining articulations as well. Obviously, this is 10 guitars on its own. So There's gonna be 30 guitars playing once I add the two other articulations here, but uh, it can be beefy.
Let me just play that uh, in reverse, actually, so you can hear it uh, the opposite way. And obviously, I'm using the glissando button down here, the glide function, so it's all monophonic right now. It almost has a synth-like quality once you go from like two octaves. You get that wow kind of sound to it. Uh, let me just, uh, yeah. So I'll start down here and then add more articulations building up. Let me show you um, another articulation here, also using the glissando function here. So in this case, I'm using the close and the white microphone together. And the glide is, again, at the same as it was before. But this time around, I have five different articulations. So that's 50 guitars playing this, that solo note you're going to be hearing. <laughs> But you know, I always find like distorted stuff is kind of like cheating. It's easy to do something that sounds big. And particularly when you have 10 guitars at your disposal, it's sort of just the easy way out. Let me show you the opposite side of the spectrum. This is playing harmonics. These are clean, non-distorted harmonics. You also have the amplified and distorted version down here, but these are just beautiful for that. Again, paddy quality. You can see the attack is almost up here. So very, very smooth, soft harmonic pad. <laughs> Aren't they just gorgeous? I think that's about as good as you can get 10 guitars to sound. Just a beautiful, emotional, harmonic quality to it. Let's switch our attention to the spot mics. So obviously before you had the whole mics over here and you have five different ones. In the case of the spot mics, there's 10 different options. And each of these guys here essentially symbolizes a different player. So you can control each guitar by clicking the on and off button up here. So in this case, we have four different guitars playing and you can see each of them have a completely separate amount of control parameters. So if you wanna control the volume, the pan, the stereo spread, different type of envelopes, pitch envelopes, tone, ADSR, whatever, you can do that per microphone and including filter controls here as well. So there's an insane amount of control and insane amount of stuff. Like I would never, I'd have to do like a year long video to actually show how many different <laughs> combos you can do here. Uh, but um, I'm gonna take you through some of them here. We're gonna start looking at our spot short notes. So in the same fashion we did with the main microphones here, we're gonna start with the shorts and then we'll migrate to the sustains in the later part of the video. And uh, let's take these four guys here and run them through the arpeggiator. And uh, this is great. Um, one of the great things about the arpeggiator is that you have different playing patterns down here. In this case, I'm using the chord and it almost makes the library sound like if you're familiar with our rhythmic R, you pretty much have your own controllable R inside of the library right now. So we're going to be using the fast muted sounds here using these four players here. And uh, let's just check it out what it sounds like. Let me show you another side to the same principle, sort of that R like quality. But in this case, we're going to use power chords, both muted and played fast here, uh, but still use the arpeggiator in that sort of R like fashion. But this has a little more uh, masculinity to it. And one of the architectures behind the library, if I can call that, and it actually goes back to our guitars and 8DO, is that you have both single notes and then you have power chords. And once you have the fifth and the ability to combine it with single notes here, you can pretty much generate any chord you want. I just think there's just a unique quality about power chords that's hard to replicate with multi samples, And that's why we have both the option of playing power chords here or fifths. And then you have the option of combining with single notes. So you can play any chord you want. And obviously the arpeggiator allows you to play things in chords or in traditional arpeggiated patterns. Let me show you another one here. This one has sort of a more almost like a Mission Impossible like quality to it. And 
And uh, let me just play something here, and then I'll try to load and unload different guitars so you can hear how unique they actually sound, how different a quality they have. So we're going to start playing two muted here, and then I'm just going to switch while it's playing so you can hear different guitars, because each of them are completely different models. We did not have the same guitar. I wanted sort of more personal quality for each of the spot mics. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So you can really like, for example, with the mutes here, like if there's a particular guitar you like, that one's sort of more soft, even more soft, almost like like slightly like bass from like, way tighter. So you know, depending on the guitar, how they're set up, what model they're using, how all their internal mechanics work, you get a different sound, and that's one of the beautiful aspects. And it goes for all the VIP Extreme Ensemble series. Uh, the drum kits, for example, have different personalities as well. And once you combine them with the beautiful hall mics, you can obviously play them together. But I think there's something super cool about the spot mic control here. Another great aspect about the library is that you can play really, really fast, and particularly the spots here because they're sort of more tight microphone-wise. Um, if you want the sound even tighter, you can use the offset button. But let me just show you right now, and I'm actually com going to combine two different types of articulations together. I'm not going to use uh, anything on the offset. It's actually its full range here and playing two different guitars together at the same time. But check out how fast they can play. <laughs> And uh, let me just reiterate that point, actually. Um, let me use another one here, um, the same principle. So this is sort of more, so I'm gonna try to play even fast on this one. Just check out like how tight it is. And in this example here, I'm using, again, three different guitars and two different articulations here. So it's equivalent of six different guitars playing very, very tight together. <laughs> awesome because the amount of round robin and velocity layers really just allows you to play those super super fast things but without getting any kind of machine gun effect it just has that awesome tightness and the thing was actually surprising to us when we did it that we actually got a library that agile let me play with something else here with the mute articulation just really really like tight <laughs> Let's move on here to the sustains of the library. Obviously, there's a lot you can do with the short notes as well, but the sustains, particular for the spots here, they sort of have a place in my heart. Um, they have a very clean, local sound, if you will. Uh, let me play you a little bit here with a patch combining our sustains, our slow tremolos, which are velocity based on the mod wheel and the harmonics as well. And again, by combining these different things here, you can do a lot and combining that with the fact you with the fact you can control 10 different human beings and their guitars here uh, makes it just beautiful. And for me, there are times where I just have to take a step back from development and just think like, oh my God, we actually have 10 different guitars here playing all the articulations that I really like in the guitars. And you can combine them in different ways. Like we've never been able to do a pad like this in, in the past. Uh, it just would be impossible. We didn't have the computational power and the ability to record and all that. Obviously, these are massive sessions because you have 10 players at the same time in a big hall. But, you know, how beautiful that is actually possible to do stuff like this. Um, I get a little teary eyed, maybe. Uh, let me show you uh, another <laughs> aspect to the library here. Uh, in this case, um, we're going to see uh, a little more. Um, I call this the Tarantino. There's a couple of different patches we made here. And uh, I think it's pretty obvious what it does. <laughs> So yeah, uh, the spots can actually be beefy as well. In this case, we're using 
five different spot mics together here. So five guitar players playing their Tarantino deal. Um, let me show you um, another sort of um, strong side to the library as well uh, in regards to the sustains here. Um, I call these steel sustains. And obviously that was using, um, you know, both the sustain, but also the amplified distorted signal here. Let me show you another patch here um, using a more clean sound as you can hear the steel sustains, but without distortion. So in this case here, just the sustains alone. You can obviously play it way softer. <laughs> you don't need to go like, where? Uh, let me show you another favorite of mine. Um, I call these sort of tremolo clusters, if you will. I have a thing about recording articulation slow, so not always fast, but particularly with stuff like this here, where you have each player just playing very subtle. We have three players in this one here, but playing very slow, slow tremolo. But once you combine it and you start playing multiple keys together, you, you get this fantastically beautiful slow paddy yet has motion and life in it, tremolo cluster texture. Stuff. I'm definitely going to be using them sort of to support chords and have a little more complication down in the chords and then you can have more solid clean melodic stuff on top of that but man for chord stuff they're fantastic. Uh, let me show another one here as well. Um, this is sort of also in the sort of soft paddy guitar realm. All right, so that was just a little insight into our VAP Extreme Ensemble series, Electric Guitar Ensembles, a lot of words. And uh, I hope you've gotten a little insight into it, whether it's the whole mics here, the spot mics, all the different articulations, all the insane amount of features, control over the spot mics here, control over the whole mics here, our main page with all the features here, our pediator, all the crazy effects you have here, and the ability to combine articulations as well. I mean, it's endless what you can do with this one. And um, I also highly encourage you to check out some of the other videos for our VIP Extreme series. There's really beautiful things you can do, whether it's our 10 drum kits, our 10 synthesizers, our 10 drum machines, one of the most insane projects I've ever done, and our 10 electric bass ensemble as well. Crazy stuff. Let me just uh, wrap the video up here um, by playing a little bit with one of my favorite things, uh, which is the soft harmonics here using, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different players here. Uh, just playing the harmonics here. It's one of my favorite things. There's just a beautiful quality to it. And uh, with that said, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope I'll see you in the next ones. And I hope you can embrace this insane concept. This has never, ever been done before. I think we've pushed the bar further than anything I've ever heard, both commercially and custom. And um, hopefully you'll, um, you know, treasure this little treat here. Um, in my personal opinion, it's absolutely amongst the very best libraries we've ever produced. And um, it's really near and dear to me, it has a very unique sound. So uh, I hope you can appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Mm -hmm.